Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is a video I've been wanting to do for several weeks now and I'm glad that I'm finally here and finally able to get this information out to you. So in this video we are going to be discussing the energy as it's been in the last couple of weeks or last couple of months I should say and then we're going to be moving on and discussing what can we expect on the solar eclipse on the 26th of December this year. We're going to follow that with the energy for 2020 and some of the energy for 2021. So if you want to know what you can expect in the year ahead, then stay tuned to this. And right at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So if you want to participate in that, then please watch the video to the end. So actually, before we start, I just want to apologize for any sounds that you might he may hear. I've been waiting for several hours uh, until they stop drilling on the street, but it seems like they're not going away today. And I would really like to get this video out there to you today and not postpone it any longer. So I do apologize for the any sounds that you may hear in the background, uh, whether they be drilling or any kind of deliveries uh, that are taking place. There is a supermarket downstairs from where I live and so sometimes there are these delivery trucks etc that come by and I do apologize for any noise that you may hear along this video. Let's talk about the energy as we've been experiencing it since about mid-October. What have you been experiencing? Share with me down in the comment section. I'm curious to hear how you've been doing. For many of you you've been going along on a product productive spree. You might have been picking up the pace since about August and going along quite well. You might have been going along with the full momentum and you might have found that come October, uh, you might have lost your way or even, and that might have spread onto November. So you might still be experiencing that on some level. As you may have felt that you might have lost your way or things may have become more difficult, you may, may have had more obstacles along the way, just as when you thought that it should be getting better. So it's been like hurdle after hurdle, and then it's like, it's like you finally come to a place where you think you can enjoy it, but then it's as if the carpet gets pulled out from under your feet, and you are wondering, well, what is this now? And uh, do I have the strength to be able to deal with this? Am I still recovering from what I've been through already? And do I have the um, the stamina to be able to face this next round? But of course you do. And so you would have been experiencing a little bit, uh, a little bit more challenges, um, a little bit of your your security blanket being uh, torn away from you. So people that you trust or people that you've uh, that have held your hand. Um, along this way may have stepped out of your life for a moment or they may be playing a different tune and so you not, may not feel like you can actually trust them at this moment. You may have had uh, difficulties in other areas of your life like in terms of your property. You may be feeling not as comfortable in the home that you're living in. Perhaps your landlord is giving you difficulties or perhaps your neighbors are giving you some difficulties or you may have felt uh, in some of your cases uh, difficulties with your health. I've certainly experienced difficulties with my health and so it's these kind of foundations that are going to be challenged or would have been challenged from about October till about now. And it's about how have you been dealing with it or what has that brought you? Because with all these challenges and difficulties that you might have experienced, if you've been in that boat uh, between October and now, it would have brought you to a greater sense of clarity and a greater sense of peace inside of you and you would be able to understand yourself a whole lot better as a result. Now for some of you, you wouldn't have had any of these challenges but anyway, you would be experiencing um, a sense of coming into your own. Now this is all part of an energy that's been taking place for several months through all of this year from last year already and uh, from about October 2018, it's been working on you. It's been working on you, kind of sharpening you, bringing you to the to the best person or the best version that you can possibly be and asking you to be more real with yourself and actually bringing yourself into, um, into a space where you understand yourself better. And this energy is going to intensify as the year goes ahead. So these themes are going to be still relevant to you as we come into 2020 and as we go into 2021. So wherever it is that you've been facing any resistance, if you've been, um, if you know that something, that you need to do something and you've not been able to do that, if you are maybe not sure of what it is that you really need to do, but you know that you need to do something, or if you feel like, yes, you know you need to do this thing, but you haven't had the resources to be able to do it, then what's going to happen is that 
the push is going to get harder for you as you go along uh, towards the end of this year um, as we go into 2020. And you're going to find that these are the themes that keep coming up for you until you be, are able to make the change that is required as you go ahead. So what are some of the very basic difficulties that you may be having uh, as you've been experiencing the last couple of months? Well, I would say that one in for a whole group of you, you would may, you may have been having difficulty sleeping. Now, whether this is related to your work, whether it's related to uh, insomnia, whether it's related to your health, whether you're just simply worried at night and you're not able to sleep, you may have had a few months where you're just having difficulty sleeping, and that may be so apparent last week as well as this week. So I'm filming this on the 18th of December 2019. And if you've been experiencing sleepless nights or you've been waking up at odd hours and wondering about things, um, or you've just not been able to sleep because you have a torrent of thoughts and ideas that come to you in the middle of the night, then that is something that is normal and is something that a lot of people have been experiencing this moment, especially if you found yourself through October and uh, November brainstorming in the middle of the night or trying to figure out your path ahead and trying to uh, narrow down which is the, the direction which you're going to be going into. So that is one of the the, the the um the ways in which you would be experiencing this energy or how we are collectively experiencing this energy one of the other ways that you might have been experiencing this is that a long lost love or a, a flame call it a twin flame call it a soulmate call it a karmic relationship whatever it is um you might have felt a, a kind of like a return to that energy so you might have thought as you've been working through the the year that you've come out of a space where you've been dependent on a certain love or dependent on or longing for somebody that you cannot have or being in a relationship where um you are kind of always having less power than the other person the power balance is not equal in the relationship and you might have felt that around august or september that yay you've come through this and you no longer in that situation and then in october and november you might have felt yourself being drawn back into that and it's almost as if you've been tested and it's almost as if you've needed to give up because it's not really possible for you to fight this anymore it's almost as if you haven't had the energy anymore to fight this and if you've been experiencing that that's also something that's been really normal and i think i did speak about it in a kind of twin flame type of soul energy love energy forecast uh, a few weeks ago um, and i will try to link that up here somewhere so um so that is um one of one of the things you would have been experiencing this person or this person's energy once again um, in a new way and understanding what it is that they meant for you in the past and there's a kind of uh, a metamorphosis of that energy and understanding how they are relevant to you now now for some of you you may say well they're not relevant to me anymore I don't know why I'm still thinking about this person and um, well that's another video so but I do get that you may be experiencing that way and um, sorry you may be feeling that way and if you are feeling that way and you are, you are ex actually experiencing that, then just breathe through it and just observe it. Because I think there's not much that you can actually do at this point with regard to that. Um, the change needs to come from their side or the change needs to come from within them and within you as well. And this is something that you can't actually do. It, it comes through you. It comes when the moment is right, when you are ready to receive it, okay? So that is one of the um, one of the two um, kind of feelings that have been going through the last couple of months. Um, you may have also been urged to make some huge decisions in your life. You may have decided. I've been talking about this in the weekly oracle card uh, readings because it's come up for some of you, but it might have been that you've been urged to move. Like you've been able, urged to move house or urged to move from your neighborhood. Or been thinking a lot about moving. Been thinking a lot about uh, relocating in whichever way, whether it's another neighborhood or another country or another uh, uh, city uh, in your state or province. Uh, but wherever it is, it or whoever you are, you might have been experiencing that feeling or that urge to do this. Now, there are definitely some of you who are very stable and you never plan to move, etc. And that uh, would you would have been experiencing this energy in a different way. So you might 
be observing that from people around you you may be observing that friendships are evolving and changing and that they don't really play the same roles that they used to play or you may be having some kind of turbulence in your relationships or your relationships are a little bit more um topsy-turvy or a little bit less calm than they usually are so all these changes that you've been experiencing around you would have got you thinking it would have got you wondering a little bit more would have gotten you to think a little bit more deeper about what it is that you truly want in your life and what it is that you're willing to accept and what it is that you're willing to bring into your life what is the new energy that you are seeking and how is it that you're going to bring that into your life you might you may also be feeling a lack of courage as to how to go about incorporating the new energy into your life because for some of you it may mean going down really deep and finding courage within yourself right but for others of you it's about having the resources or having the strength the power to be able to change something in your life and these things are quite challenging so you might have felt actually uh, uh, stressed from that or just bothered by that or not as settled as you normally feel because of the, those kind of um, challenges that you've had to face but please let me know from all of you watching this how many of you have had to make or have made a huge decision between October and now please comment down and let me know I want to know how many of you have come to a huge decision in your lives or you know another way in which this made it might have affected you is that you've gotten some huge news um, that changes things for you or that makes things easier for you or that basically changes who you are it redefines you ultimately it gives you a, a title or it redefines you in a certain way you might have become a mother you might have finished a particular course of study or it might be that you've chosen a path for you that is unfettered and if you've experienced any of these things or in whichever way you've experienced a huge change in the last two months please share that with us and if you don't feel like sharing it with us then simply let us know uh, if this has happened to you because I'm betting that there is a ton of us who have experienced that in the last couple of months and it's largely those people who have felt that you've been struggling and working through a lot of things as the year has been going through and you might have felt that the work had been done by August, as I've mentioned already, but it had come back to revisit you and take you deeper into a deeper place of understanding yourself better and being able to be more authentic with yourself. And being more authentic with yourself really talks about having to face your insecurities and face them head on, face where it is that you're holding yourself back, whether it is in terms of your relationships or in terms of your work or in terms of your attitudes towards people or towards anything for that matter but really being able to uh, to rein yourself in, rein your fears in, keep them in check and move forth with courage, okay? So that brings me to the next part, which is the solar eclipse that we'll be experiencing on the 26th of December this year. So this festive season, um, for me, it feels like a very quiet feeling. It feels like a settling. So even the solar eclipse, it feels like it's quieting down, it's settling inside of you. It's like all the work's been done already as a build up to this point. And it's as if now is your time to just settle down and settle into this energy. So one of the ways in which you might be experiencing this is that you have made October and November brought up a whole lot of things for you. Uh, and you have been basically making some decisions with regard to the changes that you're going to be making in your life and you have all these made you've made all these decisions but you haven't been able to action them or you haven't felt that it's ready to go right now you haven't heard the the sign or felt something that said that you're ready to go well this solar eclipse is bringing you exactly that so if you've been waiting for that sign waiting for something to show you then wait until the 26th of December this year and you're going to feel around this time perhaps give a day or two um, that you will have your answer okay so the solar eclipse on the 26th of December 2019 is more likely to be a softer reiteration of what you've been experiencing from October these are not necessarily new themes, but themes that need to be revisited again. You may have been playing with some ideas of which you've come to a decision. It's a quite a feeling, one that is contained. It's a feeling of inner knowing and almost a liberation of some kind. So you have 
intellectually decide on a particular path and the solar eclipse brings a feeling of knowing in you which you can no longer deny, to tolerate or accept. So that brings me to the end of the year. Okay, I feel that the end of the year is not going to be that much different for many of you, aside from the fact that you have this huge energy or force that's backing you now, which is this knowing of how you need to proceed. So 2019 has been much about healing that which you've experienced in 2018 and finding your way to understand what, how it is that you need to proceed. Now, for some of you, you may have been healing things that have been going on for several years, but and you may have been struggling also through 2019, but a lot of the struggles that you would have had now is bringing you to a space of healing and bringing you to a space of understanding yourself better, as I've mentioned many times before. And I will mention it many times again, because this is the whole theme of these energies as we experience them for the next few years. Okay, so it's about sharpening us, bringing us to that clearer place uh, that is within us and taking away all the 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 pollution that is on us and, and basically clouding our vision. Okay, so let me try and explain that better. Basically, as we go into 2020, there's going to be momentous change that brings us in. It's almost like we're riding on a wave of a tsunami. And what we have behind us is all the struggle and all the difficulties and all the healing, as well as the knowledge and the knowing of where it is that we need to go to. And so as we head into 2020, we feel this power and we have many opportunities to be able to experience this. Now, yes, 2020 is riddled with eclipses. It all It's riddled with booby traps. <laughs> so the move in 2020 is going to be momentous. It's going to be drastic. It might include a change of residence. It might include understanding your life in a very different way. And along the way, you are going to be experiencing hurdles and you are going to be, it's going to be like a hurdle run or a hurdle jump where you kind of just keep going over and over, but it's going to be okay because each one makes you stronger. And there's a key to how to work with this. And I'm going to just read from some of the notes that I have. If you've already moved this year, the focus will be on the social aspect of integration. So how willing are you to integrate and mingle with people? How do you feel in the company of others? Are you able to trust those around you? Are you able to foster that trust? Are you able to lend a hand to the relationship? How easy is it to bring people or new friends closer to you? Are you willing to be real with people or are you keeping them at arm's length? So the social and, uh, aspect or the, 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 yeah, the social aspect or the integration um, of you in your current environment or the environment that you are moving to is going to be a key for you in the year 2020. And to a large extent, how you manage with people is going to be a large, well, it's going to be the measure or the thermometer for how you actually manage in your own life. So if you are able to break down those barriers and reach out to people and surrender, or rather not surrender, but rather trust, trust it, that you are you're able to see that you're able to discern that you're able to interact with people that people are not really out to get you as such but uh, and I'm not saying that you're all a bunch of paranoid uh, folk but it's really about being able to lend that hand and if you put out that hand see how somebody is able to grab that and this is not just in terms of business or work related situations this is in terms of you taking care of your soul so are you able to do that in terms of just interacting with people and as I mentioned that is going to be a measure of, of how well you you deal with your challenges and your hurdles as you'll experience them. So it's this um, it's it's really um, trying to grapple with your state of vulnerability, okay, and understanding how do you feel with people around you? Do you feel seen? Do you feel heard? Are you feeling understood or are you feeling frustrated with how you're perceived? Okay. And uh, so those are going to be big themes, especially that. That's going to be huge, big themes. Now, that there is more to it because 2020 is such a dynamic year and it's so vast and there's so many different things that uh, can, can improve. There's so much of progress that can be made in 2020, not just with one's health and one's physical well-being, but with one's spiritual growth and also with 
in terms of one's work, one's career development, one, the hobbies that one has, the sports that one does, the um, if you read a lot the literature, um, the development of you as a creative, um, if you're an artist, it's a fantastic time of for 2020 is a fantastic time to be able to market and sell your products as well. And you would have found that 2019 has been providing you with a lot of that already. So it's a really dynamic year for dynamic people, okay? For those of you who are not that dynamic, who prefer a simpler life, uh, a calmer, simpler life, this year it's also a great year for you because you will find that your bank balances increase or you will find that you will have more opportunities that simply fall on your doorstep and you are able to discern or decide for yourself whether you want to go with those or not. So it really depends if you'd like to be, if you are a firecracker personality and you like to travel around a lot, you like to experience new things, this is going to be a great year for you. But you, if you're also one of these more introverted, subdued types of person, you're also going to enjoy from this year. Now, what do you have to worry about for 2020? Well, I want to say that if you've been alert and conscious through 2019, that you don't have anything to worry about in 2020. It's basically still working with all that we've been working with in 2019. It's about being able to um, become more courageous, stronger in ourselves, being able to understand ourselves better, working with our self-esteem, working with our own power, right? So that is so important. And you know what? I've been wanting to say this for the last few energy forecasts and I always forget, and this is the reason I made notes today, um, but this is such an important point. We are coming into a place where we are so intuitive. We are so much in, in, um, in touch with what is okay and being able to see that more clearly so as we exist as a society we're not really able to see very clearly because we are being told things all the time you know by the media by advertising by uh the institutions which program us all these things are telling us what we should believe and what we shouldn't believe and the energy that we're moving to is saying strip all of that away right now and really feel what are you feeling? What is it right for you as you go along? We are moving into a, into a state of deeper intuition and knowledge and themes around us that concern our consumption of media. You may be able to, to feel more clearly the subtlety of inauthenticity and you will be drawn away from it. Even if you believe the news consciously, your body will respond to lies, inauthenticity and any kind of false reporting. You may choose to redefine your boundaries around social media as well. So this is not just talking in terms of news or mainstream media. It's talking about um, how you interact with bullshit, basically, right? So how are you willing, how much are you willing to take? How much more are you willing to take? And that's almost like the message that the universe is giving us right now. Or as we go into 2020, this message is going to be highlighted. It's about understanding how much of it that are we going to take, you know, whether it's an employer or whether it's a colleague or whether it's simply people talking about stuff, whether it's politics, whether it's religion, whether it's medicine, whether it's whatever it is, whatever the institution is, you're going to be looking at it in a different in a different way because it's asking you to understand what your truth is. What is your body telling you about what it is that you're listening to or hearing? And this is not to say that everything out there is false, not by any means, but what is your take on it? What is your interpretation of it? Where is your truth? in all of what it is being said right now. Really also redefining yourself in terms of your social media and um, recognizing how much that impacts your life and how much that changes you and how, you, uh, how it changes you for the better, but how it changes you for the worse as well whether how much of fear it brings in your life or how much of love does it bring in your life. It's, so it's this constant struggle. It's like the waves on the shore, all the input all the, whether it's through media or however you're receiving this through your social media, however you're receiving the input in your life, it's about that, the relationship that you have to that. And that is going to be a huge theme for you in 2020, going on to 2021. And by 2022, it's going to be a whole new scenario and it's going to be really amazing. Okay. But we need to get behind this. We need to become more real with ourselves because if we're not more real with ourselves and we're not more 
in tune with what it is that we believe in or what it is that is true for us rather uh, because it's got less to do with beliefs because beliefs are formed along the way right so this is something that it's more about what we're feeling and if we are in touch with that then we won't be fooled any longer so it's and and the way in which it's moving right now is that we can be fooled and we are being fooled on some levels but um if we actually are in touch with our truth we won't be fooled anymore and i'll talk about that a little bit more now but um why am i talking about this it's because a huge change needs to take place in terms of social media and the way in which we are consuming information all kinds of information okay and that change we are kind of like building up to that change that change will take place by 2022 and we are part of it we are living breathing parts of that huge organism and we are there and we can influence it if we choose to so that is a choice that you can make okay that's something for you to think about so with deeper knowledge and intuition we have a play out of energies as we've experienced in 2017 2018 2019 so go and listen to some of the energy forecasts if you like to um, and see how those themes have become relevant in your life and how they are relevant in your life in this moment and how they will become relevant in your life in 2020 and 2021 okay so this is um 2021 is almost the culmination of everything that goes on in 2020 so you'll find that it's like a it's like a 13 month to a 20 month energy that i'm talking about right now so for some of you it will cease uh, or it will reach its culmination around january or march of 2021 and for others of you it'll continue till about october of 2021 so 2020 is a year in which we can make huge strides and progress in all areas of our lives and that largely depends on whether you're going to be serving these energies allowing them to drag you through the mud regular introspection reflection contemplation as necessary so that you're not overwhelmed by these energies and so that you can use it to your benefit so a lot of you would have experienced that in 2019 as well comments down below please have you been dragged through dragged through have you been dragged through the mud dragged through the mud <laughs> or have you been surfing these energies let 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 us know because that we can support each other in this way right and we can actually help each other to um to move ahead and to evolve in this in this way so 2020 is going to be another one of those years so as i mentioned it's going to be like a bunch of hurdles boop, boop, boop. Um, and uh it's going to be how you deal with that and it's going to be how you whether you kind of serve them or not now i want to say to you i don't have all the dates of the eclipses but the eclipses really bring those energies to the fore or bring them uh they bring these themes that we need to deal with to a culmination Okay, so if you've been ignoring it or not been dealing with it, not been able to cope with it, not even th not even been thinking about it, then the eclipses will bring you to that place where you are thinking about it. So go note that and uh, you know almost prepare for it so that it doesn't drag you down. Okay, so it's not controlling you, but you are in control of it. So if you are resistant uh, to the changes that are nudging you, teasing you, if you delay, procrastinate, the situation will become. Uh, toxic and it you know it will start to fester so you might find that your physical or emotional health is being uh, challenged or is being impacted as well as your potential progress uh, in your life is being squashed so personally I know that for me uh, the last six months could have been one of the most productive periods of my entire life but unfortunately I've had a lot of health issues and I've not been able to work really for the last months uh, for October and November um, and most of you who've uh, would, would know most of you book with me would know that and you'll know that I would have refunded you and I haven't been able to to be there I've just been able to do a few consultations with a few uh, clients and this is could have been one of the most productive periods of my life but it wasn't why it was largely because um, I have had to face some things which I've not been well into face and i'm using myself as an example because this is exactly how it works for everyone else okay so those opportunities were squashed that time has passed um there will be more and that it's nothing to be feared it's nothing to be worried about but 2020 is another year which can be a hugely productive year and the question is 
are you going to face it head on? I think I'm asking myself that uh, as well. But are you going to face it head on or are you actually going to um, and, and be able to reap the benefits or are, is it going to be facing you? Is it declaring war on you or are you declaring war on it? Um, maybe war is not the right way, but it's like almost like learning to train a wild horse or something. It's about being able to get it under your control, being able to harness it, right? That's it. So being able to harness this energy. And I think I'll talk about that a little bit more. So I'm going to keep going back to my notes here. Um, so yes, if you're resistant to the changes that are nudge, nudging you, you may experience emotional um, or physical ill health and progress, potential progress and opportunities may be squashed. Okay, how to overcome this? Simply listen and interact with yourself at every step. Being conscious is how you overcome this. Being aware of your thoughts, being aware of your emotions, being aware at where you are at with yourself in your life. There may be times where you're simply not able to act, but navigating this consciously will lessen the blow or reduce the destructive powers of some of these energies that are at play. So these energies are not out there to destroy you. They're just really rough, aggressive energies. And so it's about how you harness it, as we said already. So I mentioned already that the energy cycle is to last about 20 months, at the end of which you will be at a very different stage of your life. So you will be redefining yourself in terms of your personality and largely your career. And so this is so important because like you've heard it here at first, right? So at the end of by by 2020, you will be a different person. By the end of 2020, sorry, by the end of 2021, you will be like really a different person. You'll you had would have to redefined yourself completely. You may be living in a different place. You may have completely different hobbies, different interests, uh, and you may be having very different friends in your life or very different associates or a very different network. You may be doing a very different type of work as well. So how is that? How are you how are you going to drive that? Where are you getting yourself to? This is such an exciting time, right? To watch this process, to watch this evolution that you're going through. And I just want to to tell you that because it's a really um, important chance for you to be able to redefine your life in a directed manner. Um, just being able to push forth in a way that you know that you want to go in this direction and therefore you're choosing this direction as opposed to being just surrendering or settling for what it is that you need to do. Are you doing a nine to five job because you have to do it? Or are you doing what your soul is asking you to do? And that is a huge question. And you might find by 2021 that many of you would have changed careers. Many of you would have changed your the way in which you uh, uh, maintain your livelihood. And you will be doing something that's more in touch with your core and more in touch with your soul. It's about giving your your soul the food that it needs right now, as opposed to putting that food on the table or paying for the roof ahead uh, above your head. Uh, those things are also very important. But um, you will find that prioritizing your soul needs are going to be more and more in the in the spotlight. So as mentioned already, for those of you who are who do not experience this energy in this way, you will have if you have a very settled life or work, you will notice a push and pull of these energies in people around you, as well as in your relationships. So the, the people around you will bear a lot of these energies and will absorb a lot of these changes and a lot of these energies. And um, so, you know, if we if you are out at sea at night, right? It's almost like some of you are going to be in the sea and there's going to be a storm and you're going to be battling with the elements itself. It's going to be like some of you are in a boat that's ripped apart and you are you are still fighting and struggling and working through this in these energies. So this is nothing to be afraid of. It's just an analogy I'm using. And there's others of you that are going to be in a fairly stable boat. There's a storm going to be outside uh, that's thrashing your boat around. But you are actually quite safe and you're quite fine. So where is it that you are in this once again where is it are you where is it that you are on the scale of being okay with yourself and being stable and being grounded within yourself and not not being grounded with yourself so it's once again it's a busy and aggressively pushing forth energy necessary to be harnessed harnessing the, this energy means being conscious being aware and being on top of your game and so Okay, so this is another important point. It's such an important point. So one of the biggest themes, so as I've mentioned, right, one of the biggest themes is really being 
is really being um, in touch with your intuition and feeling and hearing what is the truth, what is your truth. Not what you're told to believe, but what is really your truth. And another one of these energies is, is facing injustice. Humanity is coming to a point where you're going to be more and more aware of what the injustices are around you and you're not going to be willing to tolerate any of the injustices around you anymore. So those are the themes that we're going to be facing. Are we willing to put up with injustice? And so if you look at your local community or if you look at the world arena where there's injustice, bullying, we are asking ourselves, are we willing to accept this? Are we willing to accept being um, enclosed and programmed and actually pushed forth in a direction that we don't want to be pushed forth in? Are we willing to accept um, this injustice that is taking place in our lives right now. And this may play out in a myriad of different situations. I'm not going to express all of them in here because there are really an infinite amount of situations this could exp this could um, portray itself. And if you look at your life right now uh, and look at your community or look at your, um, your greater community, look at the world right now, Ask yourself, where is it that there is injustice? And you know there's injustice, but you're not doing anything about it or you're not able to do anything about it for whatever reason. And there's no judgment there. It's just that this injustice that exists in your life right now, there's going to be a moment where you'll come to that point where you're not willing to tolerate it anymore. And that is one of the greatest themes of 2020. And this is where the progress takes place, you see, because injustice halts his progress and it halts it keeps you in a stagnant situation and it keeps you in an unbalanced situation but if we are fighting through that and exploding outside of it and we are taking our own lives by you know the horns and running with it and also just working with the energy at play and being true to ourselves that energy is unstoppable and there's nothing that can get in the way of that. And this is what's pushing through the surface right now. And this is why 2020 is so exciting. Also the whole decade uh, that's coming up. And um, yes, the, the decade has so many different energies in it. Yeah, like 2028 and 29 is going to be very different from like 2023 and 24. The reason that it's going to be such a big theme is because we're no longer going to be able to tolerate it because it's going to impact our personal vibration. So it's not like the old days, you know, where you could uh, get sick and you can go to the doctor and get a bunch of pills and feel fine afterward. Not to say that doctors are not relevant and that they do not play a really important role in our lives at this moment. but basically it's a little bit different because the kind of sickness the kind of illness that's going to be in us is going to be a spiritual a spiritual disease and when we are not being authentic and when we're not being true and when we're not accepting the truth and when we are accepting injustice then we are festering and we are dying and rotting inside of us and so it's this personal vibration that is going to be so important as we go along in this new decade. And uh, especially in 2020 now, you're going to start feeling that if you haven't been feeling that already. So, you know, where it is that you're not, where it is that there's injustice in your own life or injustice around you, you will feel the impact of that. And no amount of medication or changing your diet or supplementing or meditating for that matter is going to make it or yoga is going to make that go away all right it's going to be it's not something that can be fixed from the outside it's something that needs to be fixed from the inside out and which brings me back to this you know being in touch with your intuition being in touch with your intuition talks about being so clear with yourself and so true and so and really understanding feeling is what's happening here right or is it not okay is what's am I okay with what's happening right now? And that feeling, that knowing is what is going to be the impetus for the change that is taking place. So it's about, you know, about how your personal vibration is going to be impacted here. So it's about how you actually um, play with that, how you actually work with that and what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. Now, I'm not saying to all of you that you're going to need to go out there and be activists and be uh, protesters and be anarchists or anything like that. I'm not saying anything to that effect at all. So please don't mishear me here. Um, 
Yeah, so it talks about what this, that says to us personally. And if we sit back and accept injustice, what does it say about us? All right, so that is all with that. So, you know, people often talk about 5D and they talk about this evolution that we're experiencing uh, as humanity. And this is a really important thing. So we are in evolution. We're always in evolution. And this doesn't change, right? This never changes. But um, the, the crux of this is that it's not just goodness. We're not just evolving in goodness. In order to evolve in goodness, we need to separate ourselves from that which is not good. And it's simple and basic physics, you know. It's about the negative and positive ions that balance each other. And in order to create more, uh, uh, if you want to say the positive ions are the goodness, in order to create more, you need to have uh, more positive ions coming together to be able to create that. And But as you do that, you'll have more negative ions as well because it's kind of the balance. It's about being able to shift that balance, right? Being able to shift ourselves as humanity, shift ourselves in this evolution. And with that comes a lot of um, aspects that are not good. And that is something that I'm talking about here, not to scare you, but to make you aware that this is not such an easy process. It's not such a basic, oh, you know, we're evolving to the 5D and that's so cool. <laughs> you know, like some people are getting all excited about it and they talk about that, right? And, but what is it really? Are they telling you the full story? Because if you're a psychic or if you are in touch and if you meditate and if you're able to access this energy, then you know what the 5D is about and you know really all the goodness about it and what's not good about it. And, you know, it's pretty damn scary, actually, even though I'm not trying to say this to scare you. But the reason I'm mentioning this to you is because these are the forces that are play also in 2020 and 2021 as we move ahead. You know, what others are saying and what they what what they are saying and, and what they're seeing is not really in accordance with each other necessarily. And it's not all fairy, airy, fairy and good. There are forces of good and otherwise, and it's up to you to decide what you're behind. So that is the reason I'm making this point, because it's this evolution that's taking place anyway. And it's, um, for you to decide which what you're behind, what you're choosing to be behind. So it's almost like there's two different cues, you know, and you are choosing which one to get behind in that way. And uh, and this requires conscious thought. It requires being um, aware. And it requires, yeah, simply being aware and being conscious and intent. Intent is really important here. Well, the second last um, point I want to make here is that if you're caught up in yourself, or if you're being very absorbed in your own issues, or if you are still infatuated with someone, and if you're enslaved by this longing that you have for someone, or if you if you cannot see the bigger picture, um, then you don't really have a say in how it changes. All right. So you, if your mind is clouded and uh, polluted by these other thoughts, oh, like is he going to call me, or is she going to come back to me? Well, you know those kind of things are really polluting what's really important right now and it's it's kind of um it's a foil for what is really going on here so it's up to you to decide whether you're going to get bogged down with those kind of issues or whether you're going to get bogged down with the other types of issues and what you're going to choose ultimately all right so this choosing is a very conscious process i mean being conscious as being being able to understand what it is that you are choosing and what it is that you're not choosing and how it is that you are um, impacting your life by choosing one and not choosing another. Okay, so this this is really, really important as well as you go along. And think about that as you go along in 2020, because I feel that that's also going to be a kind of measure for you to understand if you're on the right track or not. So I've given you a few points here, which I feel are really important in terms of being uh, getting in touch with your intuition, uh, understanding which side you are behind, understanding what injustice is, and really being aware and being conscious. So I think those are some of the more important points that I've brought about in this um, this um, video. So yeah, there are, of course, uh, finer issues which I can talk about, uh, and perhaps I will do that on a month-to-month -month basis with regard to the en with energy forecast, as I do already. But for the moment, these are the most important things. These are the tent poles of the energy for 2020. It's already begun, right? Between the early stages. And so it's about 2020 and 2021 and, you know, going going on. All right. So, um, 
Yes, so basically, I don't usually do this, but I would like to say that I would like you to share this video with people because I feel that what has been said here um, is really important. It's really important as we go along and it's really necessary for people to understand what they're dealing with and how they are uh, progressing and how we are changing the world uh, all together, you know, as a collective. So that brings me to the end of this video and I would like to wish all of you a really fantastic uh, 2020, very happy new year to you and a very beautiful and festive and cozy uh, holidays if you are taking holidays at this time. So I am so, so grateful to those of you who come to this channel and who are participating and uh, commenting and liking and who watch the, the videos. I really appreciate all of you and it's nice that you are out there and you are the only reason that I continue this. Um, and so I want to say a very big thank you to you. And I would like to give away 10 20 minute audio readings uh, and I will do this um, in uh, January. So the way in which you can participate in them is you can write a comment uh, you can comment on my videos, any of my videos, but I also want you to write to me on my channel. So it's www.kismetrising.com. And if you go on there, you'll find a contact page. And if you write, write to me and tell me what it is that you actually want me to to address for you. 10 of you lucky people, I will announce you by the end of this year on probably a post um, on a community post. I think I'll announce you guys on a community community post. You have between now and Christmas where go ahead and just do that. And if I feel uh, like I have more time or I have more energy, I will do more than 10. But uh, I'm promising just 10 for the moment. OK, so go ahead and email me and um, I'll comment um, as many videos as you can. That would be great. And so that, yes, that brings me finally to the end of this video. The light has uh, mostly gone now. And um, yes, I'm not really using lights and uh, kind of, uh, yeah, I, I don't really have a proper setup, I must admit. Uh, but I hope you guys don't mind. I hope that the message is more important to you. And I'm sorry that it's gotten a bit grainy now because it's been such a long video and the sun is setting here and I've just been using sunlight. So apologies for that as well. And I want to say I've just been so, so sorry that I haven't been able to get out more videos, more pick cards for the year of 2020 and for um, Christmas. So I do hope uh, I can't promise, but I do hope that 2020 is going to be a better year in terms of pick a card readings. And I uh, I wish that I could get to the, back to that point where I could do pick a card readings every day for you guys. But I just don't have the physical uh, strength right now all the time. And uh, yeah, but who knows? Send me some energy and then I'll be able to do it for you guys. OK, so uh, yeah, that brings me to one last thing. I just want to mention this because I think it's important. Prayer intention, a thought. It all goes a really, really long way to uh, healing, to making one's life better, to being able to resolve your issues and difficulties in your life. So take a moment and say a little prayer from your heart. OK, and it's going to make a huge difference. All right. So I'm sending you a lot of love and I'm so grateful to all of you and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.